everybody and welcome back to Bikini Coin Girl. Today I have a really special surprise and this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a long long time but I'm finally getting to do it. So today we're going to talk about my hobo nickel. Now hobo nickels originated in 1930s and were widely popular from the 1930s all the way up to the 1980s. Not saying that they're still not popular because they are but they're not as popular as they used to be. Now, the father of all hobo nickels was a man named Bo Hughes. He was born to a family of 13, himself included, and one day decided that he wanted to be free, a wandering spirit. So he left his 11 siblings and two parents and just walked. He eventually met a man whose name is still unknown in a, uh, in a hobo village, also commonly referred to as a jungle, and the man decided to take Bo under his wing as a craftsman. Now, Bo eventually learned and became quite adept with a chisel. And after that, he started to make hobo nickels. Now, the original hobo nickels, although hard to authenticate, can be worth $5,000 and up. This is an original hobo nickel called Tufty. It's very rare and right now it's going for about $600 on eBay. This is a more modern hobo nickel. It's carved out of a Morgan dollar and it's going for about $722 on eBay. Eventually, the years took their toll on Bo, from repeated beatings from wandering police officers to one day accidentally slipping on his chisel and stabbing his hand. In 1982, Bo passed away without much fanfare, no real funeral, anything like that, which is quite sad, actually. But. What he started still continues on today. There are several world-known hobo nickel creators, but there's also the, I think it's the original Hobo Society or something like that. I'll post a link down below so that way y'all can go and look at it. But let's take a look at my hobo nickel. Now, my hobo nickel features a female hobo walking down the road with her hat in one hand and her bindle in the other. You can see the really fine details on the mountains, as well as the threads of her hair. You can see Liberty on the top, and down in the bottom left-hand corner, you can see the date. Let's see if I can get this to focus here enough. If I can't. It says 1938, but no, I don't think I'm gonna get it to focus. I have to get a better camera. But it says 1938. Now on the back, you have the traditional bison, five cents, and the S mint mark. I know a lot of people asked whether or not this hobo nickel is in my collection, and after this video you can clearly see that it is. I think the coin signifies me very well because I'm on my path of coin collecting and I'm half naked. So. Let me know what y'all think down at the bottom, and I'll see you next time on Bikini Coin Girl. Bye!